madam children how are you now your exams are over so what we are going to do yes now we are going to start the new lesson we should get back to studies right so what are you going to study now children raise your right hand now try to touch it with your left hand can you feel anything right what is that correct that is a bone right so what would happen if there were no bones inside the body what would be the shape of your body without the bones can you tell me what is the function of bones in the body so can you guess the name of the lesson that we are going to start we are going to start lesson number 7 bones and muscles but before we start the lesson we are going to discuss about few more things let us have a look now children as you can see this picture in this picture see these are the cells now you know that what is a cell yes cell is the smallest living part of living things right now so many cells combine together to form a tissue so here is a tissue now when the tissues of same kind combine together they form an organ which organ is this right that is a stomach and so many organs when they work together they form an organ system can you tell which system is this yes that is a digestive system so children as you know an organism or the body of an organism consists of so many organ systems right we have studied respiratory system we have also studied circulatory system and so many system other systems we have studied in the previous classes right and that systems we know that no organ can work alone right we have studied about digestion we have studied about digestive system in detail so do you think that the stomach can alone carry on the process of digestion no not at all so what happens what does it require yes it requires other organs like mouth food pipe stomach liver pancreas small intestine large intestine now these all things these are all the organs of the digestive system so when these organs work together they carry out the process of digestion right in this way when so many organs work together they perform a particular function like a particular function or a process like the process of respiration like the process of digestion circulation etc so before starting with the bones and muscles we are going to study about different systems in our body different organs which make up that particular system and the function of that organ system in our body so children let us have a look at it now as you can see which organ is this correct these are lungs lungs is a part of lungs are a part of respiratory system now our body consists of several organs each organ has a job to do yes for example lungs absorb oxygen and give out carbon dioxide lungs are a part of our respiratory system now can you see heart here this is heart the heart pumps the blood to different parts of the body so and the heart is a part of 
circulatory system and here this is stomach the stomach helps to digest the food so we can say that no organ can do or carry on the process alone right the organ needs the help of other organs to carry on various processes in the body now let us have a look at the different systems present in the body now the first is nervous system this the nervous system is made up of see this is brain here is spinal cord and throughout the picture you can see the blue things the blue lines that are the nerves so our nervous system consists of brain nerves and spinal cord and it helps the body to gather information about the surroundings and it also controls the function of the body as the brain gives instructions to our body how to move or how to carry on different processes so this is nervous system let us have a look at the next system now this is skeletal system you know that the skeletal system is made up of bones so many bones in our body combine together to form the skeleton which we can see in the picture so this is a skeletal system which is made up of bones now you know what is the function of the bone can, do you think uh, can you think what will happen if we do not have any bone in the body how will our body look yes it will look shapeless right because and it will not be stiff because the bones give shape to our body it supports our body without bones we will not be able to walk sit or stand properly right so the bones give shape to the body and it also protects the internal organs of our body that we are going to study later in this lesson now this is the muscular system the muscular system is made up of muscles our body has so many muscles and you know how does it help our body it helps the body to move now circulatory system as we have already discussed that the heart pumps the blood to different parts of our body along with the heart the circulatory system consists of blood and blood vessels and the function of the circulatory system is it helps the body to carry food and oxygen to all parts of body and it collects waste material from other parts of body so this is circulatory system now this is digestive system as you know that the food we eat gives us energy but do you know that without digesting it properly the food cannot pro provide us with energy and how does the process of digestion take place the process of digestion takes place in a step by step manner in different organs of the digestive system which are mouth stomach small intestine and large intestine the digestive system also consists of teeth liver pancreas in which the salivary glands present in the mouth liver pancreas they secrete digestive juices to carry on the process of digestion and helps us to digest our food so the digestive system consists of teeth food pipe stomach small intestine large intestine liver pancreas and the function of the digestive system is it helps the body 
to digest the food. Now the next is respiratory system. Children, we have discussed in the previous lesson that how the process of respiration takes place in different animals. Different animals have different respiratory organs which help them in the exchange of gases. You know that we breathe in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. So, we have lungs as a part of, it is a main part or organ of our respiratory system. We have discussed that animals like earthworm breathe with their skin. The frog breathes with its lung when it is on land and with its small skin when it is inside water. The insects breathe with their small holes on their body which are called as spiracles. Now let us see the respiratory system of our of humans. Now we know that we breathe through our nose and the air reaches to the lungs through the windpipe. So the respiratory system consists of nose, windpipe, lungs and can you tell me, can you identify this organ children? We have already studied about this organ that is known as diaphragm, right? It also plays an important role in the process of respiration which we have already discussed. Now the functions of the respiratory system, it helps the body absorb oxygen and give out carbon dioxide. The air we take in as oxygen help us in the digestion of food. The food burns by the oxygen that is taken in inside our body. Now the next system is excretory system. Excretory system gives out waste from the body. The waste that is accumulated in the body is thrown out of the body through the excretory system which is very necessary because if they accumulate inside our body we may fall sick. Now the organs which are there in the respiratory system are kidney and skin. Now kidney throws urine outside your body and it filters the urine from the body. And what about skin? The skin removes the toxins from the body through various glands present on it. Now the function of excretory system is it helps the body remove waste from the body. Now let us have a look at the next system that is reproductive system. Now we know that reproduction is very important for life. Can you tell me how? Yes. Life continues on earth because different animals reproduce the young ones of their own kind. So reproduction is important for the continuation of life on earth. Now, reproductive organs are different in males and females. Now, as it is clear from the name itself that it helps the body to reproduce. So, various organs involved in the reproductive system help in the reproduction of the organism, right? So, today we have discussed about various organ systems which are present in the body. We have also discussed that the smallest living part of living things is cell. Various cells of same kind combine together to form tissues. When so many tissues of a same kind combine, they form an organ. And when different organ combine to carry out a single process, one process, then that forms an organ system. 
so the organ system consists of so many organs which work together to perform that particular function we have discussed about circulatory system respiratory system skeletal system reproductive system etc so rest of the things about bones and muscles we will discuss in the next session hope you enjoyed the session sairam